Hey guys, how's it going? Jared Bronstein here, and we have an insane question today. What if the sun was replaced with a black hole? Now, as we know, the sun compared to other planets is absolutely massive. And because of its size, the sun has a gravitational pull that keeps everything in check for the most part, at least up until Jupiter. But if the sun was replaced with a black hole, it would certainly affect the entire solar system, Jupiter included. Before we explore this idea, let's get a better understanding of black holes, what they are, and what they're capable of doing. Just a friendly reminder to subscribe, and of course, stick around until the very end of this video for some common replies from a previous video. But for now, let's get into space and science and other fun stuff. So NASA's definition of a black hole is as follows, a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The reason the gravity is so strong is simply because matter has been squeezed into such a tiny place. This usually happens when a star, like our sun, is dying. Now you may be thinking, well if the sun was replaced by a black hole, then it would definitely consume all the planets in our solar system and everyone would die. Well think again, because you're wrong. Somewhat. We'd still die. No, but seriously, there's a few things that would happen, and one of them wouldn't be the Earth getting sucked into the black hole. So if a black hole were to replace the sun, our solar system itself really wouldn't change all that much. This is because the black hole itself would have the same mass that the sun currently does. As of now, we aren't being pulled into the sun, so the same rules apply to a black hole. We wouldn't be sucked in, nor would the likes of Mercury, Venus, or Mars. The black hole's gravitational pull would be strong, but not strong enough to pull all these planets in. However, that doesn't mean we wouldn't see the effects on Earth. Without the Sun, we'd have no light. Or, at least, not much light. Technically, Venus emits light onto the Earth, but nowhere near the amount of light the Sun produces for us. If we were to lose the Sun in general, the temperature on Earth would decrease dramatically. We're talking well below freezing. Our large bodies of water, such as oceans and seas, would freeze over, and the Earth would be a very, very dark place. We wouldn't be able to handle the extreme cold unless we found a way to live underground and continuously run heat and electrical. Otherwise, life as we know it on planet Earth would cease to exist. Everything from humans to animals to plants would all go extinct. But this wouldn't happen immediately. It's not as if one day we have the sun and then at the snap of a finger, it turns into a black hole. Technically speaking, although impossible, if the sun were to be replaced by a black hole, it would need to transform into one. And for that to happen, it would inevitably mean the sun would first go supernova. Again, not possible, but we're just going to roll with it. For those of you who don't know what a supernova is, it's been called a violent explosion, although that really doesn't do it justice. Supernova is an explosion that releases unfathomable amounts of energy. We're talking as much energy as the sun creates over its billion year lifespan. Now to give you an understanding of how detrimental the sun turning supernova really is, scientists believe the Earth's ozone would be damaged if a star less than 50 light years away went supernova. The sun, in comparison, is 8.3 light minutes away. Not years, minutes. This means if the sun did go supernova on its way to transform into a black hole, it would destroy almost everything in our solar system. More specifically talking about Earth, the side that's facing the sun would burn hundreds of meters per second. The side that wasn't facing the sun wouldn't fare much better. Aside from the destroyed ozone emitting absurd amounts of UV radiation, causing everyone and everything to fry, the explosion itself would also heat up the Earth's surface. Scientists estimate the planet would be approximately 15 times Times hotter than the surface of the Sun. I'm going to repeat that in case you missed what I just said. The Earth's surface wouldn't get 15 times hotter than it already is. No, it would be 15 times hotter than the Sun currently is. This means in a few days time, if it even take that long, the Earth would simply just be a distant memory. Well, we'd all be dead, so it wouldn't even be that. It'd simply be a thing of the past. And in regards to all other planets, from Mercury to Neptune, they would all boil. We're talking temperatures so hot these planets literally cease to exist. In fact, the explosion would reach out to Pluto, maybe even further. So aside from the planets destroyed, other stars, and of course asteroids, and dwarf planets, would all be destroyed. This even includes the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, of course. At the point that the Sun does finally become a black hole, nothing would be affected because there wouldn't be much left in the surrounding area. Everything would have been destroyed by supernova, and who knows if our universe would ever be able to harbor life again. Now, it's actually impossible for our sun to ever become a black hole because it's simply too small. As big as the sun is, in comparison, black holes are much, much bigger. More specifically, black holes are created by stars with core masses at least 10 to 20 times that of the sun. Some sources even claim the sun would need to have a mass 30 or 40 times what it currently is. So we have nothing to worry about. Now, the sun will eventually engulf the Earth, but we don't have to worry about that happening for at least another 5 billion years or so. This will happen when the sun runs out of hydrogen in its core and starts collapsing on itself. But before it collapses and turns into a white dwarf, it will first become a red giant, which will not 
not only see its temperatures rise, but its outer atmosphere also expand. This means a handful of our planets, from Mercury to Mars, will eventually cease to exist. But again, that won't be for billions of years, so you can sleep well tonight knowing there's no immediate danger. Now, before we read some comments, I want to know in the comments below what you think is inside a black hole. There is no scientific proof of what a black hole actually contains because its gravity is so strong. It pulls everything in and lets nothing out. Some claim it is a portal to other dimensions. Others say it's just nothingness. Let me know what you think is inside of a black hole in the comments down below. And now let's reply to some comments from the video, what if the sun disappeared for one hour? DJ said, if the sun disappeared for an hour, I would lose one hour of vitamin D. Yeah, I mean, I think you'd lose more than just that. You'd lose like all sunlight. Uh, you might even lose your sight. I don't really know what happened. I think it'd be a pretty scary situation if the sun disappeared for an hour. Keyshawn Joseph said, what if 20% humanity gained superpowers? Keyshawn, how would you determine what, what percentage gets superpowers here? Is it like, would it be like certain countries or would it be like one in every 20 people? I think if 20% of humanity had superpowers, there would be like a huge divide in regards to those in power. I think everyone with superpowers would rule the world. Bendy Productions HD said, what if Canada was a country? Yo, do not play with my country like that. We are a country. We win gold almost every year. Keyword being almost, but it should be every year at the Olympics and the World Juniors. Hockey is our sport. We have the CFL, which no one really cares that much about, but some people do. What else do we have? We created, we created Hawaiian pizza, pineapple on pizza. That's thanks to Canada. So don't give me that, bro. Unless you don't like it, then don't blame us. Anyways, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to share it with a friend if you guys enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe and click that bell icon to never miss a video. Let us know in the comments down below what you think is inside of a black hole. So we'll see you guys again soon. Wobble wobble doo da.